it is that time of month again where the TBR jar picks our October reads. Why is it October? How did that happen? Who let the calendar just on by? What the heck happened? I want to know. As always, we are going to pick eight prompts and that's going to help us choose eight books off the TBR cart which will make up our October TBR. Now we do have some new additions into this TBR jar. My, my good friend, my, my, biggest, my biggest fan on booktube has included guys. Jesus, thank you. Jesus answers our prayers. The hum of electricity from my fridge was so loud as you can probably hear it potentially in the beginning of this video. It's just so obnoxious and there's still some other random like hums and sounds going on. But right before I started filming this, I, I prayed. prayed for God to silence the, the, hum of the hum of electricity and just make it go quiet. And it just stopped like only a little bit into the video. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, my good friend, she added some new um, prompts. I think she added seven, if I remember correctly. And I was told that I'm not allowed to shake this before starting because <laughs> she put the ones she wants me to pick at the top. I hope I pick them for you. I'm just gonna, I think I see one with your handwriting. I can't see what it says. Prompt number one. Yeah, this is your handwriting. <laughs> no, no, are you kidding me? <laughs> Funny you should ask, <laughs> it's our very first book. Girl, seriously? Okay, so last week my friend came over and we were reading and she didn't have a book with her so she just picked off my cart and she read, Funny You Should Ask. Let me get it. I put it in the back because it's not a high priority for me. If you watched my, well, my last, TBR video, there were like, I don't know, like five prompts that worked for Funny You Should Ask, and I just kept avoiding it because I didn't want to read it. And so she picked it up last week, read it in two days on my couch so fast and loved it and said I need to read it. So Funny You Should Ask, got what you wanted. <laughs> I can't believe that's the first one I picked. Oh, she's going to be so excited to see that. Prompt number two. Okay, this one's I, one I wrote. Here, I'll let you guys read it first. It's a long one. Let's see, a book you bought based on a book talker's rec. I'm gonna include like booktuber rec too. Ooh, there's, I feel like, a, okay, that's one. Okay, I feel like I could either do The Heart of the Raven Prince by Tasanya Odette. This is the Entangled with Fae series. This is a Cinderella retelling romanticy and I heard about this book in the series from Sarah Caroli and she seemed to love it. I want to read it, which also I didn't mention my intentions for the month. I need to be better about that. My intentions for October, I want fantasy because that just gives like fun, silly, spooky vibes, but also mysteries for like that type of spooky vibe. So I definitely want those, but I need romances. Like, I want a balance of the three genres. Then also If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This is Dark Academia these, I don't know, Shakespearean actors, and I think someone dies or something. I don't know if I want to read this in October or November, because I, I feel like this is, this gives fall to me, just like those cozy, creepy vibes. Fall, cozy and creepy. But I do think I am leaning towards Heart of the Raven Prince, because I love Cinderella. Cinderella's been my favorite since I was a little girl. That hasn't changed. She's, you know, a servant girl. He's a playboy prince, and he must marry a princess, so he gets Ember to pose as a princess until midnight at the full moon ball, and then feelings happen. Can't believe I picked Funny You Should Ask first. Yeah, see, now I'm shaking them. See, a book, wait, a book that gives the current season vibes. Perfect. Ooh, okay, I think I, mm, okay. Oh, gives fall vibes, which that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Apprentice to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mare, Mare? I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your last name. But this is the sequel to um, Assistant to the Villain. This is like cozy fantasy, but like I'd say like, they're not super high stakes, but they're not low stakes either. They're like medium to high stakes. So it's a cozy fantasy, but still something that's like captivating and interesting and keeps you on your feet or the edge of your seat or whatever that phrase is. And just like, look at the cover. Like this just gives like wholesome, cutesy, Halloween-y vibes to me. I am not like a scary person. I don't enjoy scary movies or horror or things like of that nature, but like the cutesy like Halloween town vibes, like that's what I'm here for. And I think this is just kind of what that gives. It's all like just very like cute and wholesome, but still like 
spooky and it's fun. And she's, you know, the sun, sunshine assistant, or I guess now apprentice. She's getting a promotion, I guess. And he's the morally gray villain. And there's like a little bit of a romance between there. There's not much in the first book, but I'm hoping there's more romance in the second one. It just gives the perfect vibes. Yay. I want to pick another one of Carolina's prompts, but I don't see her handwriting anywhere near mm -hmm. the prompts that I can be able to see. Okay, where? Oh, I see one. Oh, I think I see two of them. I can't read what they say, but I want to pick one of hers because I've just, I've picked my own prompts for a year now. I first started doing TBR jars last October on Book Talk. I started my Book Talk in October of 2023, and then I started BookTube in February of this year. So it's been a full year of using these same prompts. So I, I really need to like fully change them out. Book chosen by Carolina. <laughs> I film on my phone. So I don't want to like take my phone out to like send her a photo and then start filming again because the angle might change. So I'm going to wait until the end to send her a photo of the remaining books on the TBR and see what she picks. <laughs> Prompt number five. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A book with more than 500 pages. I really want to read Consider Me. I know it's long. Let's see here. Is it, is it long enough? It's 471 pages. Wait, actually, I realized there was a book that I was supposed to add to the TBR cart. New Moon. Okay, why are these books so long? 563 pages. I am currently reading Twilight. There's going to be a long reading vlog once I finish the series. So I do need to add this book. I want to read Consider Me like really bad. It's just giving the energy that I desire, that I desire, that I long for, that I like in my reading. I don't know. A book written by a male author. Oh, wow, Carolina. A man? A man, a man, a man, e -A -E -N. Oh, oh my gosh, actually, yay. The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I forgot I wanted to read this in October too because I love The House Across the Lake by him. And it's kind of, it's like mystery thriller, but it kind of leans a little bit into horror. It has some horror elements. Um, and I just feel like it was like the right amount that I was okay with, I don't like too much. So this might be like the creepy fun vibe that I want. In the 20s, this whole family was murdered except for one of them, what's her name, Lenora or something? Yes. And now it's in the 80s and she has a home health aide named Kit. And Lenora is mute, but communicates through a typewriter and tells Kit what happened to her family. Fun! <laughs> Prompt number seven. Yes. A book with green on the cover. Is there any green in you? <gasps> yes, there is. Oh. I probably should pick Terms and Conditions because I need to finish this series. I read the first book in January. It's now October and I haven't picked it up again. But I'm just gonna put that back right there. Yeah, no, I'm gonna choose Consider Me. There's green in the trees right there. I've, I haven't heard much about this series, but what I do hear, everyone loves it. And this is NHL, playboy hockey player doesn't do anything serious you know with the women it's just all about the casual nights if you get what i'm saying and olivia has i don't think no interest in professional hockey players but he wants her i know it's kind of stupid but reformed player who changes for the woman who doesn't want to change him is not interested but it's like i am obsessed with you and i want you and i want to cherish you that's the vibe I'm getting, and that's the vibe I love, okay? And it might be cliche, it might be a little stupid in some people's eyes, but I don't care, I love it, and I'm gonna eat this up. Okay, so our last one, and then we'll text Carolina and see which book she picks. I'm gonna do the one that fell out, because it was very active and, and really excited to be chosen. So, oh, a nonfiction book, are you kidding me? Why did I pick you? I only have two nonfiction books. I have Tired of Trying by Ashley Morgan Jackson, How to Hold On to God When You're Frustrated, Fed Up, and Feeling Forgotten. I also have The Sacred Search. What if it's not about who you marry, but why? So this is another Christian nonfiction. Most of my nonfiction books are Christian. I don't want to read either of these. I'm going to pick the other one that I actually picked out. <laughs> it's not cheating if we pretend like it didn't happen. Here's the other one that I had actually originally chosen. 
That's another one from Carolina. <gasps> Free pass, read what you want? Oh, thanks, Carolina. Okay, what, what do I want to read? I just realized I have another nonfiction book that I do want to read. I, I mean, I, should I pick that? I went to two the book signing for Jojo, Joanna Levesque's new memoir, Over the Influence, this past weekend, and it's signed. So this is her memoir. Do I want to read a memoir to her right now? I don't know. Free passes honestly stress me out because there's just so many options and I... What do you want? want? It's not that simple. What do you want? I don't know what I want. I have to remind myself, like, it's not that serious, you know? It, nothing is that serious. Okay, I've probably been sitting here for like 10 minutes struggling. So I am actually, I am cheating again. But it doesn't count as cheating if we don't talk about it. I'm putting that one back because my brain just can't make decisions. Okay, another one fell out. I'm nervous. Is this gonna, is this gonna haunt me or help me? A debut novel. Okay. I think the only one that I know for sure is a debut novel is The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. And I honestly think if I hadn't picked this, this is the book Carolina would choose because she wants me to read this so bad because she wants to know my thoughts on it and she wants someone to be able to talk to about it. Can you guys not? Like what's happening outside? I read The Game Changer by Lana Ferguson last month and it honestly, it was too spicy for me. And I know that this one's gonna be too spicy for me. People were talking about it as if it's like the spiciest romance book. So I don't think I'm gonna love it. A woman discovers the father of the child she is nan nannying may be her biggest only fan in this steamy contemporary romance. Carolina, this one's for you. <laughs> I'm gonna stop filming. I'm gonna send a photo of all of these books to Carolina and see which one she picks out for the final book on our October TBR. Okay, I am back. Carolina has finally responded. And she's chosen the last book on our October TBR. Okay, take a last guess. What do you think she picked? Three, two, one. She chose I Kissed a Girl by Jeanette Alexander. I was not expecting her to pick this one. So she chose this one because it has to do with acting and I'm an actor. I actually, while I was waiting for Carolina to respond, I was filming an audition. So, you know, pray for me, pray that I get it. So let's see, this follows Lila. She's a young actress who wants to climb out of the B-list stardom. She's been cast in the lead in what could be her breakout performance. Noah, who's a brilliant makeup artist and special effects genius, but cracking into the union is more difficult than she imagined. <laughs> yeah, the union is rough. It's hard to get into. When the beautiful star she's been secretly crushing on admits to fears of her own, Noah vows to do everything in her power to help Lila shine like never before. That's so cute. This is so cute. So it's a queer romance with Hollywood and makeup artist and actress. Like how cute and fun is that? So I'm honestly, I'm excited to read this. So we have our eighth book. So to recap, we have Funny You Should Ask for the prompt, the book Funny You Should Ask. For a book based off of a book talker or booktuber's rec, we chose Heart of the Raven Prince. A book that gives spooky season vibes, we have Apprentice to the Villain. A book with more than 500 pages, we have New Moon. Book written by a male author, we have The Only One Left. A book with green on the cover, we have Consider Me. For a debut novel, we have The Nanny. A book chosen by Carolina, I Kissed a Girl. So there we have it, our October TBR. I'm excited to just get right into this. Let me know if you've read any of these books and let me know what your October TBR is. And also let me know if you wanna see any of these books in any videos or reading vlogs. Thanks for joining me and sticking around as I pick my TBR. These are always my favorite videos to film and my favorite videos to watch. So I will see you throughout the month as I read these books. Bye.